Hey what's up everyone and welcome to my tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to talk about the patch tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to show you how it is used for doing some basic retouching to your all of your images. So uh, right now guys I have got this picture loaded in my Photoshop, Photoshop CS6 and okay so before we get started working with the patch tool and this is something that I like to do is that I always like to duplicate my layer so I'm going to press ctrl J and right now uh, I have removed the background lock I'm going to press ctrl J now I'm going to remove this so we can compare easily uh, what were the results before and uh, and you know how does it look after alright now for accessing the patch tool the shortcut is ctrl uh, J but I have to press it a couple of times for cycling through all these different tools so the spotting healing brush tool the healing brush tool and the patch tool uh, in today's video I will work with the patch tool now uh, by default people the patch tool the the patch uh, mode over here is going to be set to normal but if you have used it before you may have changed it to content aware now i'm not going to talk about content aware right now i'm just going to talk about the normal okay so okay so there it is now in uh, you know patch tool is 90 per 90% of the times people patch tool is used for uh, for retouching purposes but sometimes say um, you know it may be used for removing things out of your scene or you know stuff like that now now how does it work all you need to do is you need to spot a blemish first so in this say uh, we, ha we have a blemish right over here so you, you just need to use it like a lasso tool you just need to create a quick little boundary you know a selection around the patch or you know uh, the blemish and then you take it and you need to move it uh, to a place where you think that there is skin that you would like to replace the skin with so say uh, I have created this uh, you know this uh, border or this selection around this blemish and I want to replace it with a clean skin so I'm gonna move it right over here and as soon as I let go you'll see that it does a great job of doing the patch up and that's the reason it's called the patch tool now it's kind of uh, used for you know most of the time it is used for retouching purposes but in my future videos I'm gonna show you how it is used for uh, you know for some advanced things also so you can see how quickly I can get the job done with this and it's really a great tool people you know at least designers you know professional designers who are working with fashion industry they tend to use this tool a lot of times you can see this guys and you know the best part about this patch tool is that wait a second, I'm just gonna show it to you. All right, so uh, you know that it can not only work with on small blemishes, but it can even get big things done, right? So you can see this this one big uh, kind of like a scar is there near our eye. Now we're gonna replace this whole thing with a suitable skin. Uh, the the things that you need to remember when using the patch tool is that um, yeah, uh, always try to replace it with nearby skin. For example, uh, say yeah, wait a sec say that i am trying to replace this i'm gonna you know try to remove this small blemish over here so i'm gonna make a boundary now i need to uh, you know uh, take a look around um, and i need to patch it according to the lighting of the place here for example i cannot just take it and you know replace it over here like this because you know still it gets the job done you know uh, photoshop is smart enough to understand the lighting and uh, to correct the thing but most of the times people okay when you are working on some complex images as in my uh, future tutorials you'll see uh, you you really need to uh, you know remember and keep track of where you are replacing your you know this blemish with so uh, yeah that's it yes okay so uh, coming over here to this big scar right so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna draw a quick little like you know a big selection around this scar real quick and I'm gonna replace it over here now once again remember I, I'm, I'm not going over here you can see the difference I need to still keep this skin red so I'm gonna move it over here somewhere and Photoshop is smart enough it recognizes the difference between the skin and it does a great job of blending in the two uh, you know places or that uh, patch up work you can see this it does a great job but I can actually right now still see that scar line uh, so we're gonna use the patch tool once again and check it out I think it does a great job and if, if you feel that you know that the job is not done properly you can again make a selection and try to uh, you know make a selection and patch the skin up again 
okay i think this is good uh, let's take a look at how did the picture look before so so this is uh, right now with the patching done and this is how it looked before you can see all the blemishes on her nose and you now you can see the big scar and actually people I have done some work previously and I have some saved files I would like to show you of how the patch tool uh, really is important um, when it comes to skin retouching wait a sec made a backup uh, photoshop files DJ style skin retouching and actually these are a little uh, advanced uh, files but you will get a good idea of how the patch will work so I uh, actually right now I have also used some effects for uh, creating uh, the whole uh, perfect skin effect but you know there were times when I had to use the patch tool for getting the job done so right now you can see that her skin is a little too smooth for her humans and a normal person skin the actual thing was like this the actual image was like this and uh, the end result looks like this so if I want to show you one more example I think this one is good this is a completed effect and without the work it looks like this so um, a, a lot of times people when you want to quickly get your retouching done uh, you can use the patch tool and it does a great job according to me right so thank you for watching my video I hope you understood why it is used for all right for doing some basic retouching and hope you enjoyed hope you learned something please like my video on youtube please subscribe to my channel and show me some support by liking my facebook page people the link is gonna be in the description please subscribe and thank you for watching my video thank you i'll see you guys in my next video thank you people